It's moving! It's moving! Welcome to English Recaps today, I will show you a crime thriller mystery drama called Cop Car 2015 Spoilers Ahead Watch Out, and take care. The film begins with two little fellows Travis and Harrison strolling in an open field far away from home as they're strolling Travis is apparently showing Harrison some revile words as Harrison rehashes after him they then, at that point, go over a wired wall and keep strolling until they before long run over a snake opening, and there they assault it with sticks in their grasp inevitably of strolling they before long spot a cop vehicle and Travis. Did they see us? Thinks the police were at that point searching. For them they then, at that point, Attempted to make an interruption by tossing something towards the cop vehicle so they can take off anyway the little stone Travis. Tosses contacts the vehicle and for the feeling of dread toward being captured Travis demands that he must get the stone. Since it had his fingerprints on it and in spite of Harrison. Likewise contacting it he disagrees with Travis thought the two young men then go nearer to view the vehicle. And afterward unexpectedly understand that nobody is in their Travis then at that point raises a plan to contact the vehicle and run back and similarly as Harrison follows with this then, at that point, affirming that nobody was around with the vehicle. The two boys go closer and try to see what's inside the car and even try to open though all the doors are locked, except the door to the driver's seat which Harrison is able to open as it opens Travis immediately gets in and tells Harrison to come in too but Harrison looks scared pointing at a drink that was on the car meaning that the cop was still around Travis doesn't seem to care about this and starts mimicking car sounds and after a while Harrison also enters, as they're both. Then playing around with car sounds Travis finds the key to the car, and as he tries it the car comes on forcing the boys to first run out of the car before then returning it doesn't take long for Travis to get a hold of how to drive the car and even though Harrison doesn't approve saying they get into trouble Travis convinces him and even says that if anyone sees them they just say they're cops they then start the car and drive around the open field much to both of their excitement it then turns out that the cop car was for Sheriff Kretzer who had parked the car at the spot where the boys had seen it so he would be able to bury the body of a man he took out of the car's trunk with another body still inside Kretzer's suddenly returns to see that the car is missing and he then calls the sheriff's office and tries to learn whether anyone had used the radio in the car though he doesn't let them know it's been stolen. When he finds out the radio had not been used he lies to the rep on the phone saying his car's radio stopped working well, and if they wanted to contact him they should call his personal line with this he runs away from the scene in a bid to start looking for the car meanwhile Travis and Harrison are still enjoying the car though they decide against using the radio to prevent getting caught since their voices would give them away soon after Harrison takes the wheel from Travis while the car is still in motion and it doesn't take long before he's able to get onto the road after braking through an entryway with the vehicle while out and about Harrison drives actually leisurely and this doesn't appear to be energizing enough for Travis so he requests that Harrison let him drive once more and this time Travis drives foolishly at fast out and about during the cycle he likewise nearly hits a vehicle driven by a lady named Beth who really can't comprehend what was occurring in the cop vehicle subsequent to running a few miles Kretzer can arrive at a local where he detects a vehicle he figures out how to try not to get found out and furthermore utilizes his shoestring to open the vehicle entryway after which he hot wires it and drives off Kretzer before long needs to keep away from consideration from a more interesting when he makes a stop at the traffic signal as the light becomes green he quickly drives off and even makes a go to a shut down street however he doesn't go excessively far before a cop stops him anyway before the cop gets down from his bicycle and contacts him Kretzer calls the workplace once more and requests that they bring in a code for a wrongdoing occurring around him when the cop gets to the vehicle he asks Kretzer for the vehicle's records yet as Kratzer bobbles with a glove box the cop smells a rat so he asks Kretzer to get out similarly as Kretzer goes after his gunda the cop at last gets a code brought in for him to look at the area of a wrongdoing and after he answers he eases up and leaves somewhere else Bev shows up at an eatery and is looking stunned from what she saw and at that time she unexpectedly sees two police come in so she reports to them in the meantime doesn't drive any further and promptly gets out from the vehicle after the cop goes out when he arrives the principal thing he does is to enter his truck 
and check the radio after that he settles on one more decision to the workplace and there he will discover that the vehicle had been taken by kids Kretzer is past shocked however he's likewise feeling. Better to hear this than advising the woman via telephone. To dispose of the report he additionally continues to ask that the radio station be changed since there is by all accounts an issue with his own radio and, surprisingly, however the recipient wavers every one of the officials on the job change the station a lot to Kretzer's help he then, at that point, goes into the house and apparently gets pissed as he breaks a jar on getting back to the vehicle he utilizes the radio to speak with the taken cop vehicle telling the young men they needed to return the vehicle or they'd be in hot water he likewise specifies that no other person separated from him can hear them yet nobody appears to answer curiously the young men are not in the vehicle they're messing with the watchfulness tapes and the weapons they found in the vehicle sooner or later Travis attempts to take shots at Harrison while wearing a tactical armor yet he doesn't appear to know how the firearm functions. With this Travis needs to have a go at utilizing the more modest weapon yet Harrison conceals it telling Travis he didn't have the foggiest idea. Where the weapon was Travis then sets out toward the vehicle to look for it yet abruptly hears Kratzer. On the radio he quickly heads toward Call Harrison and despite the fact that they repeatedly hear Kretzer give them instructions to use the radio. They don't do anything when they no longer hear anything Harrison then tells Travis they had to ditch the car though Travis doesn't agree as. He believes they can run away with the car however as they're arguing they hear a sound from the trunk of the car the boys then pick up guns and open the truck only to see an injured man seriously pleading for his life after a while of pleading the man realizes that it's the boys and not the sheriff after asking whether or not he was a bad guy with the man saying he was a good guy the boys agree to set him free. Though they tell him he can't take the car away from them the man agrees even offering them money and taking them to a club. And he eventually cons them into cutting him loose he also tells them that the sheriff is a bad person meanwhile Kretzer is looking frustrated at home as he opens several bags of an illegal substance and flushes them down. The toilet he then gets a gun ID and a couple other things and puts them in a bag. And as he's coming out of his room he hears the boys talking over the radio Kretzer becomes finally happy to talk to them. And he gets Harrison to tell him where they are Kratzer then says he's coming to get them and they should just sit in the back he also asks. If they've touched anything in the car including the trunk and Harrison says no it then turns out that Harrison was being threatened by the man. They had saved from the trunk and the man had made Harrison say all those things when the conversation with Kretzer ends he moves Harrison to the back and just as the boys struggle to escape he shoots the gun to show them that it was working after all the man who seems to be a criminal then goes on to make a desperate attempt at hiding but doesn't quite get what he's looking for so he gets back in the car and drives up ahead until he reaches a place that has a win when he gets out. He places a bottle on the floor just by the car and then goes over to a hiding spot and attempts to shoot the bottle from there in the car the boys are terrified as it doesn't take many attempts for the man to successfully shoot the bottle from where he is with that he comes over and threatens the boys that he'd kill their pets and their loved ones if they told the sheriff where he was hiding telling them to just stay quiet in the car not long after he goes back to his hiding spot. Harrison then brings out the small gun he was keeping away from Travis and then tells Travis to use it to shoot the man the next time he comes close to the car however when the man comes over looking. Impatient at not seeing the sheriff yet Travis is unable to pull the trigger so he hands the gun over to Harrison who seems disappointed. Not long after though Kretzer's truck finally approaches them Kratzer starts to suspect something fishing when he sees one of the car doors. Open he then walks slowly to the car as he looks around to see if there's anyone hiding luckily. He goes through the opposite side and the crook looks exceptionally irate as he will not have the option to have an unmistakable chance Kretzer. Then opens the entryway looking glad to see the children. As he likewise lets them know he'll bring them back home anyway their quiet inconveniences him so he checks out first. Before he then shuts the entryway and twists down inquiring as to whether they open the storage compartment he over and again asks them and when they say nothing he even compromises them with his firearm saying he's the only one they can believe all of a sudden a vehicle coming permits him to dodge. Once more and it ends up being Beth she stops her vehicle directly before Kretzer's truck and approaches the vehicle shouting at the children saying she realized she saw the correct thing as she then heads toward a tent and open the entryway she sees Kretzer with his weapon at first she looks frightened however he tells her that he's a cop and that he had been an 
escaped the shot by a criminal scene saying he simply needs her to assist him with getting his keys up ahead in the bramble, so he can get help she concurs and as she's looking through the ground. The lawbreaker looks confounded however he actually sets his firearm on her as she goes nearer she recognizes the crook and quickly tells Kretzer yet she winds up having chance in the head by the criminal with this a shootout then, at that point, begins among Kretzer and the crook and it winds up with the two of them shooting one another and tumbling to the ground with Kretzer as yet having the solidarity to contact the window. With his blood inside the vehicle the young men are looking truly unnerved. And as the sun descends they begin weeping for help yet nobody can hear them when their endeavors to open the entryways. Are likewise vain Harrison then, at that point, draws out the firearm to fire the window yet he just can't work it Travis then takes it and attempts as well yet it's a similar. Result anyway Harrison takes it once more and tosses it against the window multiple times. And when it doesn't break the window he attempts it unwittingly. And it works with the discharge being excessively clearly for them in the vehicle Travis then takes the firearm and fires the window. And at first endeavor the slug skips off yet the second time it breaks and Harrison can open the entryway. And take off as he's running however Travis gets back to him and when Harrison gets to him he sees that. Travis is injured and losing blood the main projectile that skipped off hit Travis Harrison promptly shuts the entryway and enters the vehicle to drive away in the meantime it additionally turns out that Kretzer isn't dead yet however he's harmed. And he likewise advances into his truck to pursue them he then can speaks with the young men through the radio advising them to dial back. So he could get the vehicle back anyway Harrison doesn't tune in so Kretzer utilizes the truck to stir things up. Around town from behind multiple times Harrison is then shockingly ready to steer to another side and this permits Kretzer to hit a cow with Harrison then neglecting to focus on him as he appears to be content to lose Kretzer Harrison thinks back to mind Travis and sees that he's perishing so he continues to drive quicker he then, at that point, turns on the alarm after which he hears a woman talking through the radio and inquiring as to whether the sheriff was there at first Harrison, doesn't answer yet as the woman is going to detach he at last responses it as he drives away and that is the way it finished try to buy in.